my back hurts so bad. Per usual, what else is freaking new? What else is new? But welcome. I've changed my setup a little bit. I feel like the lighting is a lot better. Also, the shirt is like a little more scandalous than I realized. Oopsies. I guess it's it's quite the show tonight. Um, so no one's here yet, so I'm just gonna vent. I'm very much not having a good time working. I hope no one I work with is watching this. That would be really embarrassing. It's not anyone's fault, I just am sad. Um, I just like, I miss teaching, I miss the vibes, I miss the energy, you know what I mean? Like I'm just there and I'm working and I'm like, it's fine, like it's not that bad, but I'm just like, I literally don't care. <laughs> I just I'm the type of person I really have to care about what I'm doing or else I just like can't like I just can't do something if I don't care and like it kind of like the excitement phase wore off so now I'm like okay like I'll do it I know how to do it and I'm gonna do a good job and like everyone's nice Mr. Dactid you got a yeti and a silicone straw so I got a yeti and a silicone straw you're by Regina George that freaking made my day and today was like kind of bad vibes, so thank you. But I actually don't have my straw in there right now. And it's funny because I was sitting here and I was about to come on here and I was like, oh, I need my straw. And then I didn't feel like getting up, so I was like, whatever. Um, happy Wednesday, Pita Colado, hi. Twitchy Witch Girl, thanks, happy Wednesday. Liv, first time chat, hi. I'm excited for this topic. So I, I used to work from home on Wednesdays. I no longer work from home on Wednesdays. So I used to make my slides Wednesday after work because I had enough time because I didn't have to drive home. But now I don't. So I made these on Sunday. So I had to put a, well, I didn't have to. I had the time to put a lot more effort into them. So they're a lot better. Like I just feel like this stream is really gonna be the vibes oh my god and it's your first time sal it's your first time first live this is gonna be a good one i hope i don't want to jinx myself never mind it'll be what it is it'll be what it is this is a little bright for me there we go that's kind of better i was most unfortunately absent last week it's okay i miss streaming on mondays oh my god i miss streaming on mondays so bad i miss streaming on mondays so bad but the podcast is like kind of a lot of work um but it's dropping soon Soon, 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 soon. First time here, Vanessa, hi. My ice like froze into one giant ice hunk and it's like blocking it. If you ever do a stream on Alaska, ooh, I don't know that much about Alaska. I wish there was an in-between on this. I don't know that much about Alaska, but I, I'm intrigued now and I'm always been intrigued to Alaska. Oh my God, we have new emotes, you guys. They all got approved. We have tons of new emotes. Yellow mustard sucks. I kind of like yellow mustard. Wait, what's wrong with yellow mustard? I kind of like it. Like on a hot dog? Yellow mustard's good. It's not good on like fries. Um, first time here, let the Reagan slander begin. So we're not talking about Reagan the entire, entire time, but he is an important part of it. Oh my God, I can drop some interesting topics on Alaska at the end. I like that. My uncle used to live in Alaska when he was in the military. I come from a military family. In reality, like a couple people were in the military during peacetime is what happened. Are we getting a Dust Bowl stream? It's in my Great Depression stream, but that was a long time ago. Do we want a new Dust Bowl stream and a new Great Depression stream? Maybe a dedicated Dust Bowl stream. I'll do that. I'll do one dedicated to the Dust Bowl. It might just be kind of a shorter one because it's not as big of a topic. Lucky Duck, what is up? Um, been waiting all day. I've been waiting all day. I've been looking forward to this all day. I was just at work and I was talking on the phone and I was like, yeah, I'm working on the listing transfer. Absolutely. And I was like, I wish I was on stream right now. This shit sucks. Like, <laughs> I was like, I'm tired. I'm tired of this. I want to go on TV. <laughs> I've been waiting for this all day. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into it today. We're learning about the history of college costs in the U S normally I only do modern history because I don't really care about like old shit as much as I care about new shit, I guess. But we go all the way back to like before America was America, like the, the, the colonial times of the United States, which by the way, I'm like kind of uneducated on, um, like in terms of like the fucking governments of the colonial times before it was the U S like, I don't know a ton about that. I'm going to be frank with you all. I have a sociology background, not an American history background, but anyway, bear with me. It'll be really good.
Super random because you do a dream on the bust Boston molasses flood. Multiple people have asked for this. I need to look into it. I don't know what it is. I want to learn more about the Revolutionary War because it gives me FOMOs. I love to win and see the prince lose. <laughs> Maybe we will do Revolutionary War. Okay, let me adjust my screen a little bit so I can see you guys better. Um, whoa, whoa, ho, ho. Okay, there we go. That's better. Now I can see you and I'll know if the chat is breaking. This is a good setup. This might be the one right here. So, what's first here? I didn't even look through this because I made this on... Sunday. Okay, so how much student debt do we have? If you don't want to answer, you don't have to. But if you want to either just put it in the chat or if you want to put it on the big screen, um, if you want to put it on the big screen, I put the link to do that in the chat. But anyway, how much student debt do we have? I'm just curious. You don't have to answer if you're not comfortable with this. But I think talking about money is very important. Um, Mr. Redacted has zero dollars in student debt. I've always had zero dollars in student debt because I did dual enrollment which was free so I got a lot of college credits for free if you're in high school and you can do dual enrollment for free take advantage of that shit if you want to um and then at FSU even though I was an out-of-state student because of like my grades or whatever I got to pay in-state tuition so it was like relatively less expensive than it could have been um and then my parents paid for it because they my parents thought and wanted me, they thought I would and wanted me to go to a private school, um, like a, what are some examples of private schools that I could have potentially gone to? Why can't I think of anything? Why can't I think of a private school? What's wrong with me? But like, I don't want to say the ones. So they really want to go to University of Southern California. That's where I wanted to go. They were also open to like, Notre Dame, like NYU, they're, they're coming to my brain now. Like that was the caliber of school they wanted me to go to and that's what I wanted. And so I applied and so they had been saving money to pay for that and they were like, we'll pay for half of it and then you can get loans for the other half. And I was like, okay. Um, and then they, so they were saving money for that and then when I ended up going to FSU and getting in-state tuition, they were like, oh, well we had saved money to pay for half of this, so it, like covered all of my FSU stuff. Um, but yeah, that's how my college was paid for. My father was a military bond, so I get tuition free in my state, very slave, very nice. Zero dollars, daddy went to law school, close to 60K, none because generational wealth. Gotta be at least $2, oh, probably. 20K-ish, almost entire FAFSA mummy, 33K and no degree. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know a lot of people in that boat, that sucks have paid 18K over the last 18 years and still owe as much as I borrow. I got zero, thank God, but my boyfriend has 49K. Prenups are very affordable. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Um, $4, very good. Close to 60K, 27,000. So to me, the, I don't know if this is like a real rule, but what I always learned is that you should never go more into student loans than a first year salary of your job. So like teaching, you shouldn't go more than like $45,000 in loans. That was a rule I heard somewhere. And that's what my parents said. And they were like, well, not, they said they weren't going to let me go into loans, like past a certain amount or whatever. Not me watching this while sitting in a college class. This is the college class. You're in the college class right now. Um, but yeah, me thanking our Lord and Savior that I got rejected from my top two schools, which saved me from being at least $80,000 in debt. And that would have been literally like hilarious to me. Like, what would I have even done about that? And I'd probably be doing the same shit. Like, I'd probably be doing the same type of job that I have now. I probably still would have taught like, also, oh my God, closets open. That's new for you guys. Um, but yeah, I'd be doing like the same shit. So if you're in high school... Achieve your dreams and all of that. Why are my legs so itchy? I think I have razor burn. If you're in high school, achieve your dreams and like all of that shit. But also don't go into crazy amounts of debt because that kind of sucks later. You know what I mean? A loan free Harvard class is what this is. Exactly. It's like I'm providing a better education than money could buy. You know what I mean? Like it's it doesn't get better than this. It really doesn't. How much tuition are you charging us at Miss Redacted State University? Ugh. When you guys ask me things like this, it's like the 
equality side of me and like the girl boss side of me are just like duking it out because the girl boss side of me is like bitch that's passive income fucking charge them an arm on the leg but then like the ethical part of me is like that's fucked up education is supposed to be for the masses like education is free we all have a right to learn those are the two demons that fight inside me every day is my girl boss versus so my girl boss versus a good person, ethical woman. Like, I don't know. <laughs> um, inside you, there are two wolves. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with the first fucking college in the United States. Harvard University, founded in 1636, is the oldest institution of higher education in the United States. So this is what Harvard used to look like. Um, but in my logic, it's like now there's just a bunch of dudes that like had really high expectations of them as children taking it out on like alcoholism and getting their stomachs pumped is like what's happening at Harvard now. So it's kind of just crazy to see like the then versus the now, you know what I mean? I didn't know Harvard was the first in the U.S., the fuck? So when I was eight, my mom took me to Harvard and made me go on a prospective students tour of Harvard at age eight, eight. To be fair, my sister was 13, but that's still weird. Um, and we went on a prospective student's tour of Harvard, and she bought us Harvard shirts. And she was like, this is this should be the bar. She was like, this should be where you consider going to school, just so you know. So that was my first college experience, was Harvard, and that was considered the bar. Was it for men only, I'm assuming? Yes, 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 yes. Starting them off young. I live in Boston, and that, and yes, that's how they are. So my sister used to live in Boston, and I would go visit her a lot. So I am acquainted. I'm acquainted with the men of Harvard. Um, I wanted to go to Tulane, which is basically for all the people who didn't get into Ivy League. I also thought about going to Tulane. So we have that in common, that we did not get into Ivy Leagues. <laughs> um, ugh, my head kind of hurts. I should have taken a Motrin. So early history of college in America, it was like a religious thing. So religious dominations established the college in order to train ministers. So you weren't even learning like science and math and shit. You were learning about like daddy God. It was, seems kind of boring. Um, Harvard College... So there's like some bullshit about Europe. Harvard College was founded by the Massachusetts Bay Colonial Legislator um, and named after an early benefactor. So it all goes back to money, even from the jump. It's always money, 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 the root of all evil and the root of all of my joy. You know what I mean? It's like both. Um, <clears throat> then the College of William and Mary was founded by the Virginia government in um, 1693 and this is the interesting part um, a penny tax on every pound of tobacco of which was an annual thing was used to pay for the college so taxes to fund education before the United States even existed it's in our foundation it's what our founding fathers would have wanted and we know that because they did it they did it Wait, I just put a headphone and did homework at church. Do that with the green grass. Wait, what? I feel like there's a conversation in the chat. I don't know about sometimes this happens. Um, James Blair. Oh, this part's boring. I don't really give a shit here. And now it's talking about like other early colleges and yeah. So I find this extremely ironic. I find this very, very, very ironic. I say that about Tulane because it's filled with kids from New Jersey and New York who want to party in NOLA. That sounds about right. Throw in tomatoes, literally throwing tomatoes, because like, I'm definitely not a stand for the founding fathers. Like this is not a founding father fan account. I don't love the founding fathers. I think they did a lot of fucked up shit. And I think we should change a lot of stuff that they came up with. However, they popped off with this one, like a broken clock is right twice a day. And this is when they were right. Taxes to fund education, slay. Quarter life crisis, hi. It's okay that you're late. How's school? How's it going? See, this is what happens when you're loyal on streams. Everything gets interrupted to ask you how your day was. <laughs> Fuck the founding fathers, but if you're going to follow them, do it right. They were just drunk frat bros doing their best. They were drunk racist frat bros. Were they doing their best? Probably. School be busting my ass, but I'm okay. Retweet. Well, they were racist and awful. <laughs> yeah, without the racism and awful part, if you just overlook that... <laughs> Um, oh, people are still talking about their, their college credits. Mer16, thanks for following. Also, Kel, Kelsey Rosner, thanks for following. Dark Bowl, Dark Soul, Dark Soul Bowl Cole. 
Dark Soul Bowl Coal. That sounds like a slur. Hopefully they don't get canceled for this. Anyway, they were doing their best, but it wasn't very good. <laughs> I just know the Founding Fathers would be doing coke if they were alive today. Oh, absolutely. And they would be on um, Jeffrey Epstein's island if you're picking up what I'm putting down. They would be on that shit. Um, hey, opium had the same thing. Republicans also think college radicalized people to be more liberal. Also, I was really proud of finding this gif because his hair is like also giving founding father. What's this guy's name? I can't remember his name. What's he from? Like, I know him. He's famous. Who is that? I told my students the founding fathers were drunk all the time. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh my God, this chat, the racism, the education. <laughs> that might be the chat of the night. Great meme, and he is on, is, yes, SNL, SNL, that's what it is. What's his name? Kyle something? Is that Kyle Mooney, or is that somebody else? Okay, anyway, moving on. So, some more boring stuff about how America's oldest universities were founded. Here's some shit about New Light Presbyterians in New Jersey, Academy of Pennsylvania, yada, 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 yada. All these old-ass schools um, that people went to. Brown was especially liberal in welcoming young men from other denominations. I guess that is pretty liberal, liberal for the six, for 1760s. So that's the thing is like they let it like it didn't matter what your grades were or who you were because there were art like they would let anyone in who passed their other gatekeeping measures. Like they didn't let in anyone of color. That knocks out a lot of people. It's also the 1700s, so are we surprised? They didn't let in women. Again, knocks out a ton of people. They didn't let in people of other, like, denominations a lot of times. So it's like their applicant pool is so small that they have a 100% success rate. So that's why when you see these old-ass, decrepit-ass congressmen, senators, all these fuckers running this country, and they're, like, a 1,000 years old, and they're like, no, oh, well, I went to Harvard, and we're like, oh, la di da he went to Harvard. Bitch, there were 12 people applying. Of course you got in. Like, are you kidding me? And that's all I'm going to say on that. Do we also need a Founding Fathers merch on top of CIA? <laughs> um, also, if you just got here, we have new emotes, and I'm really, really excited about it. I'll show you. There's a lot. Some of them are kind of similar to each other. There you go. Oh, I accidentally put some of them twice. Whatever. Um, but yeah, we have new emotes. Oh my god, is that a Helen Keller emote? That's not mine. I didn't do that. <laughs> Oh, here they are. We also have that guy. Here we go. There's a lot of good shit in here. Okay. Just wanted to update you. We need to euthanize elderly anyway. Okay, that took it to a different level. Requirements. White, male, super chill dude. Except not a chill dude because they were letting, like, Kyles who punch walls in there. So that wasn't even a requirement, I don't think. <laughs> At Harvard, we let anyone in, as long as you're a white guy. So I guess basically no one. <laughs> okay, so all that boring shit about some colleges. So what's the oldest public university? This is really irrelevant, but I just found it interesting that there's two different opinions. So some people say that it is um, the University of Georgia, which is my favorite team. Both my parents went there. Um, some people say it's the University of Georgia, and then some people say it's the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill because UNC Chapel Hill started taking... Um, I talk. They started taking students first. So the North Carolina Constitution provided that learning be duly encouraged, promoted in one or more universities. So they created University of North Carolina in 1789. So their charter was written after the University of Georgia charter, but the UGA didn't open for years and years and years. And UNC was the first public institution of higher learning to open its doors. So a little bit of disagreement there. I kind of wanted to see your take on what you think if you want to vote in this poll. Also, if you put your name in, it does come up, just so you know. But if you want to vote in this poll, I put a link in the chat. Or you can just tell me in the chat, whatever. Um, so which one do you think is first? UNC, because it started taking students first, or UGA, because it was chartered first? I, even though I love UGA, if my father is watching this, I am so sorry for saying this. I kind of think it's the first one to take students. Because, and I, like, I would disagree if it was like, oh, they broke ground. But, like, a charter is just a plan. 
it's not a thing. Like, lots of things get chartered and then never happen. You know what I'm saying? So that's why, to me, it's the when the students. What is even a school without students? I just know that 1,800 girlies got heated over this. But Carolina students don't go to class, so UGA. No students, just vibes. UNC, because my dad moved to North Carolina on Sunday. I love how objective we are. It's great. <laughs> my eyelashes are fucked up, and I'm not going for literally a week and a half, and they're... Oh, fuck, I forgot I had contacts in. I shouldn't be rubbing my eye. Now they're just witnessing, like, a lot happen to me right now. Just a lot going on. This isn't about patents, UNC. <laughs> I agree, it's not a patent. It's a school. Okay, but moving on. So how much did it cost back then? The reason that we're all fucking here. The annual tuition at Harvard was $75 a year. This was in 1840, so much later, Harvard was created in the 1600s, but I couldn't fucking find information on tuition that went back so far. I guess they don't know. I'm assuming it was probably free because it was religious and like the church was involved and it was to train ministers. So my assumption is that it was probably free until it became like college in the 1800s and then it was $75. Okay, so we'll adjust for inflation. So it was $75 a year. Um, the article from Forbes said today that would be $1,703 a year, but that article was from 2015. So in 2022 money, I did the math, $2,128. ZK Butterworth, thanks for resubscribing. Um, so yeah, it was about $2,000 a year for Harvard tuition in today's money, $2,000 a year. So again, like $2,000, that's not a small chunk of change. Like if you asked me to give you $2,000 right now, like I wouldn't want to do that. But $2,000 a year for Harvard tuition, yeah. Dying that Harvard would have been 2K, but FSU cost me that a semester. Yeah, exactly. It's like, $2,000. I can write a $2,000 check right now. Who you want me to make it out to? Oh my god, I forgot I took out this Uncrustable for myself earlier. It's been in my freezer, and it's like super stale, though. It's really old. Rough like Ronald Reagan. This is only mostly Ronald Reagan's fault. Yeah, 100%. But pretty high percent. This is stale, but I'm gonna eat it anyway. I don't really care. My community college costs more than that a semester. Yeah. Okay, so, interesting and important question. But also important to remember that college wasn't gate, what, uh, college was gate kept by additional factors like race and gender. So if you weren't white and male, you didn't even have the ch chance to pay if you had the money. So if you were like a black woman or a white woman or like a Latino man, like any not white male person, and you were like, hey, here's your $75, I wanna go. They'd be like, how the fuck did you get inside this building? So it wasn't like, bring you and me, everybody go to college, it's gonna be great. That wasn't it. Also, I'm very vulnerable eating on stream right now. I don't like eating in front of people. We're a very vulnerable time. They're watching me. Um, okay, so, Additional gatekeeping factor is that most working class white men couldn't afford to take time off work and they weren't in school past eighth grade. So like even if you were a white dude that had $2,000, you probably can't afford to just not go to work that whole time. You probably had kids young as fuck. You're probably already married and like you just can't be taking years off work like that. You know what I'm saying? So you had to be rich to go even though it wasn't expensive. Because if you weren't rich, what are you doing getting an education? Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? We don't do that. You're going to die in like 15 years. Relax. So, even though it's cheap, still not a vibe. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay. Harvard in the 1800s. Do you think back then there were some working class guys? Yeah, it is an Uncrustable. It's a Nutella Uncrustable. I don't like the peanut butter and jelly ones. I don't really like PBJ that much. Not for me. I don't hate it. I'll eat it. But this is better. No, Craig, we can't accept corn cheese as a valid payment at Harvard. Go back to the fields and die of cholera. Because, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. This is good. I'm loving this Uncrustable. Mm. Welcome to the U.S. Nothing has ever revived. 
exactly. Hmm. The one part of this that's kind of a vibe. Spoiler alert. After World War II, black veterans got to use the GI Bill at HBCUs, and it paid for the whole thing. There weren't enough spots, and like a bunch of people didn't get in because they were like basically over like over capacity. But the ones that were able to go, that was a vibe. That was cool. We love a free college education, you know what I mean? My sister is getting a GI Bill in her divorce? You can do that? You can get a GI Bill in her divorce? Wait, I want to hear more about this. Suddenly I want to get married. I know you can get a GI Bill. Hmm. Okay, so. If you divorce the guy in the military, you can get a GI Bill. Does it get taken away from him? If it doesn't get taken away from him, I'm not interested. I want him to lose access to it. I want it to transfer to me. Is that how it works? If not, it should. I'm bewildered. I didn't know benefits still apply in divorce. Let me tell y'all. The military, when it comes to the military, Throw everything you know about the legal system out the fucking window. Because they do shit their own way. The military does shit their own way. They have their own little they have their own little government, their own little court system. So it's not just a job. They get away with everything. Literally. Like so if you're like, but, but legally, not in the military, they own your ass. I don't know how we let that happen. Actually I do know how we let that happen, but whatever. It's crazy. Not me marrying a military guy just to do divorce to make his GI Bill money. Not my dad trying to tell me he would pay for my college using his GI Bill even though he already used it on himself. Okay, sometimes you get benefits though because my uncle used his GI Bill on himself but his kids got to go to public colleges for free because of his veteran stuff. So maybe that's what your dad meant. Okay, but anyway, examples of free college in the United States. So Lincoln signed the Morrill Act in 1862, which was a law that created public colleges and universities to make higher education available to all Americans and not just the wealthy. How come Republicans today never talk about Lincoln? Lincoln was a Republican. Why y'all never talk about my dude? Why y'all never talk about Lincoln? He was a flawed individual. It's not perfect, but that's a good idea. Y'all know y'all don't want to talk about that. Y'all just want to talk about Ronald Reagan. They let them get away with rape and domestic abuse, but if you fail a drug test, you're immediately kicked out. I feel like at the higher levels, that's not true. I feel like a lot of them are like, if you're picking up what I'm putting down, you know? They do talk about Lincoln, but they stop it. He was a Republican. They're like let us not forget Lincoln was a Republican. And then if you're like, yeah, what policies did he enact that you are a fan of? They're like, shh, good night. Um, so passed on July 2nd, it made it possible for states to establish public colleges um, funded by the development or sale of associated federal land grants. Over 10 million acres provided by the these were stolen from native communities so that's not good but are we surprised like oh the federal government was getting land in the 1860s like that was kind of their mo doesn't make it okay still super fucked up that they stole land from native americans but it's pretty um what's the word i'm looking for emblematic of their behavior very within their behavior pattern um, and these new land grant institutions emphasized agriculture, mechanic arts, and why, why do I like stutter like that sometimes? And opened opportunities to thousands of farmers and working people previously excluded from higher education. So education was a big push after the Civil War to educate people on farming practices and things like that. Twerks and 
mechanical parts. Oh my God. Um, and then in California, twin promises of affordability and access go back to the founding of the University of California in March of 1868. This is after the Civil War. This is during the Civil War, just for context. Um, in March 1868, governor signed a charter establishing a state university declaring soon as it become financially feasible admission and tuition shall be free to all residents of the state so free college is not a new idea baby free college is an old idea so i think that's what's interesting is when people compare the u.s to europe and they're like well they've always had these social programs in the u.s like that would never work um we tried to have it like we did it for a little bit like we were very much on the same wavelength and then it wasn't until later mainly Ronald Reagan, but a lot of other stuff too, that we were like, uh, never mind, we're good. And then we went the opposite direction when a lot of other countries started offering more stuff, we started offering less stuff. So it's a more recent development than people realize. Oh, I have to burp. God damn it. Um, this is other info I could find on college cost in the olden times. This is from the, uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. this is from a book from 1906 that's called The History of Higher Education in America. A book from 1906 is like listing college costs from 1816. So here's the college cost they have, $600 per year in 1816. Because remember, Harvard, and this is in today's money, I think. Harvard was like two grand. So it makes sense that like a lower down average college would be 600 when Harvard's two grand. You know what I'm saying? What well, college student needs a servant? Oh yeah, actually, no, I'm wrong. This is in olden times money because the tuition at Harvard was 75 and tuition here is 57. So that's 600 total. So, cause it's everything. Sorry, I lied, I was wrong. It makes me think of, it's a banana. What could it cost $10? So what gets me is I didn't even notice servant. I noticed vacations. Vacations is what got me. Also candles and oils. Today's money as in 1900s money. Yeah, this is in 1906 money, not today's money. You're correct. 1906 money of the cost. Yeah, I think. This is hard. There's too many years. I'm getting confused. But you know what I'm saying? This is what it cost. Very cheap. Even if you factor in inflation. Um, so vacations, servant, Australians get paid to go to school, insert the $3,600 candle tweet. That's my favorite meme. I was going to make it like part of the thumbnail for the Woodstock stream, which by the way, I'm in copyright trouble for the Woodstock stream. Not here, but on um, YouTube, I'm in copyright jail. Not jail, they just demonetized it. Also, I just got monetization this week, so that's exciting. I'm trying to be more in my bag because I want to go back to teaching, but in a much bigger sense, I don't want to give up my standards of how much money I spend. So I'm trying to be more in my bag so that I can, you know, hit enter early, LOL. Was gonna say $1. All good. Sorry, I feel like I'm getting really distracted today. I don't really know what's wrong with me. Um, dear two, so the enslaved population seeing vacation included in the college cost breakdown in 1816. No, because we need to chat about you coming back to teaching later. No, not right now. Oh, wait, the chat is broken. Y'all are supposed to tell me that. That's your job. As a member of this classroom, we all have our jobs, and that's you all's job to tell me when the chat's broken. And you didn't. Thank you. I'm surprised you don't get more sponsorships on TikTok. They don't like me. I don't know why. Also, I don't like them. Usually when people offer me things, it's like weird shit. I always get offered like fucking shapewear all the time. And I'm like, I don't want to do a brand deal for shapewear. Like I don't want, I don't want to be just like about my body. I just don't want that on the internet. I want to be making money that way. I just don't want to do that you know, and shapewear, the messaging that sends, a lot of teenage girls follow me. I just, I'm not doing it. You know what I mean? But I keep getting them. They want me to do that shapewear brand deal so bad. Man, the Reagans. Um, okay, so moving 
one. So other info on college cost, Vassar College was a woman's college. Costs were $400 per year, which included tuition, room and board, furnished room, heat, light, service, and washing. Georgetown was $300 per year. Um, and basically I did the math. What $400 cost in 1883 would be $12,000 in 2021. And that is tuition, room and board, furnished room, all that stuff. So to me, if college, room and board, all of that was $12,000 a year, to me, that's not too crazy. That is not too crazy to me. It's not ridiculous, you know? Um, so yeah, there were a few other schools, but everything was pretty much within the $300 to $500 range. 12K is a lot, but we're so desensitized. We're like, yeah, okay, sounds good. Like it is a ton of money, but it's like not a completely unmanageable or like crippling ton of money. You get what I'm saying? Like if you're paying 12K a year and you like work and save up and do something, like if college today was 12K a year total, I feel like it's like, yeah, attainable. Like it's hard and it should be free, but like 12K is attainable. You know what I mean? We can do that. I just know they had soft mattresses too instead of a rock. <laughs> okay, so how did people pay for it back then? Remember, working class people didn't go to college. So most people going had family money. I'm sure a few people had like benefactors or private loans of some kind. But generally speaking, you wouldn't even think about going to college if you weren't from a rich family because you would be getting a job to help your family. You know what I'm saying? Also, that's everything. How much does it cost someone to live for a year? Exactly. Does anyone remember the difference between a college and a university? I don't know. Is there one? I think it varies by country. Um, so Thomas Jefferson also founded the University of Virginia, which was a public school. Thomas Jefferson believes that the government um, should work for people to be good citizens and the population had to be educated. So he never had his plan for universal free education like that never happened. But it did began when the government started subsidizing elementary schools, which was very unusual for the time. Back then they didn't have public schools. Um, and then they helped him start the University of Virginia with a $15,000 grant. And they funded it um, as an experiment because it was a public university designed to advance human knowledge, educate leaders, and cultivate informed citizenry. So again, public money, founding fathers, public money, founding fathers, public money, free education. That's their goal. Like That's literally what they were doing, a small loan of $15,000. <laughs> exactly. We call universities colleges, even though it's not right. What? I thought a school needed to offer graduate programs to get university status. I don't know any of this. College is undergrad focused, university is grad school focused. My water won't come out because it's freaking ice. I guess that makes sense. Um. If very few people went to college, when did they start going in mass? Like back then, no one really went to college. So around 1920 is when it started to rise up. This was a variety of reasons. One is because the roaring 20s, the economy was good. Um, tuition was still fairly low. Um, and basically, people just started living longer. It was fresh off of the Industrial Revolution. So more people had better paying jobs and things like that. So now it became much more common for still mostly white and upper middle class people to go to college, but it was no longer limited to like just the ultra, ultra wealthy. You know what I'm saying? Going to take some notes to turn into hinge prompts. Wait, I'm kind of into that. I want to help you with your hinge. I only use a thermos around my house now because of your sister. She's right. I'm going to tell her that you said this. I'm going to take a picture of this right now. She gets, she's funny about the internet. Oh, my phone is broken. I love that. I love my life. It's incredible. It's still broken. Um, okay. Moving on. So this is a graph that shows college and university students over time. You can see it's like super low. Like I said, 1920s, it starts to go up and then it starts going up really dramatically right after World War II because of the GI Bill. Wait, what's the story behind the thermos? Basically, it's just like 
why would you put water in a regular cup when you could put it in this and keep it cold and it's like closed and it, it's just better so like it's your house why would you not use it you know what i'm saying so they said more students okay more money yeah pretty much um so why did more people start going to college in the 1940s and 50s war war is the reason like so many things war is the reason it was because of the gi bill so world war ii ended on september 2nd 1944 shortly before actually more than that like a year before a year before it ended we have the gi bill um franklin delano roosevelt created the gi bill i have an emotional snow support cup for water only and it comes everywhere with me mood <laughs> why is my head so itchy what's happening to me but anyway the GI Bill provided World War II veterans with funds for college education, unemployment insurance, and housing. The GI Bill today sucks compared to the old one. Um, and it put higher education within the reach of millions of veterans and later of World War II and later military conflicts. Oh my God, the me crying. Every time I take a dip, I'm nervous. I understand why everyone gets addicted to vapes they be hitting because every time they're nervous or uncomfy. Oh my God. Everything big that I think lasted up to today was because of World War II. Um, my nose is stuffy. What's happening to me right now? Here's an old slide from when I was teaching about the GI Bill. I don't know why I put this in here. It stands for government issued, but 2 million veterans used it to go to college and 5 million used it for job training. African American veterans were discriminated against when they tried to use it. We're going to get more detail on that later um only for white men back then we're gonna get more detail on that there's like a lot of nuance to it and we'll go through it but first i want to tell you how much it cost so how much did college cost during the time so in 1940 the cost of tuition room and board and all that shit at harvard was 924 um and again still cheap up to 500 dollars range he guaranteed veterans would receive a free year of college up to 500 dollars a year which is six eight hundred dollars today so if you got money to go to college back then it would pretty much cover the whole thing because you can see relatively cheap um upenn tuition general fee room and board so they're covering tuition but not necessarily room and board so if the average college costs 924 dollars which was the harvard one um that's 28 percent of the average family income Today, the average income is $79,000, and a public college costs about 25% of the average income. A private college today costs about 47% of the average family income. So the military has just been using this as an education tactic all around? Yes, we have a slide about it. Here it is. We'll do this one first. This was it since you brought it up. Um, the U.S. government realizing that keeping college costs high and then offering to pay for it is a very effective bribe to get people to join the military. I think this might be our meme. This might be the one. Um, one time in high school, someone said HBCUs were racist because what about historically white universities? And I was like, you mean the rest of them? You're like it just means universities that's what that is um but anyway after the gi bill percentage after the gi bill the percentage of the population in the armed forces stayed very high so you can see the percentage of the population that's in the military is relatively low until you have the gi bill passing and now a pretty high percentage of the population is in the military compared to before the gi bill passing is that average as in most people have this income or average like math? Average like math. Oh, why can't I breathe? But anyway, back to this. Average cost, basically, college used to cost 28% of the average income. Today, it's anywhere between 25 to 47%, depending on where you go. So it's increased some, but it's always been expensive, essentially. Um, so again, same meme. Predominantly white instruction equals all non-HBCU. I'm late and on the treadmill. Hi, first stream. We're about to get to the Reagan stuff, so don't worry. Oh my God, the lightning was just like a lot. Um, the military industrial complex, once they found out a way to keep their recruitment numbers up without causing the social political tensions of a draft. I know this is quite a wordy meme, but I think it's a good one nonetheless because they really figured out the hack. 
They were like, damn, when we do a draft, like, a lot of people are mad because it's, like, pretty serious and it's, like, mad awkward and people are upset about it. But they figured out, hmm, the meme. They figured out if we just make it expensive and bribe them, we don't even need the draft. My brain just exploded. I'm really th thinking 4D, you guys. I know, I'm gonna let this one simmer for a while. Right? Like you educate the populace and then they decide the war is immoral. Whoops, you really got hoisted by your own. <laughs> so much is clicking. I know, I know, I know it's all coming together. I'm sorry to be the one to break it to you. Remember all the Republicans being out loud like, how dare you forgive student loans? How are we gonna have a military now? Yeah, exactly. They said the quiet part very much out loud. So back to discrimination within the GI Bill. Now that we kind of figured out why the GI Bill is a thing, the numbers around it, let's get into the implementation of it and why it was super racist. So the GI Bill itself was not like a racist document, if that makes sense, because it did not exclude African Americans. But Basically, Jim Crow lawmakers were like, we're not going to let this shit pass unless you keep it vague. Because if you keep it vague, then we can discriminate them on a state level. Because originally, they wanted to write in a clause that said, like, discrimination based on race for veterans using the GI Bill is not allowed, essentially. Like, if they get, if they have the GI Bill, they get to, like, cut around the segregation of the time is what they wanted to do. But then the Southern states were like, no, you need to leave it up to the states for the implementation. And they wanted to get it passed. And it was during wartime. So they were like, fuck it, we'll just do it so we can get it passed. And then the states were the ones doing it. So I love this like topic in history because I think it's an amazing example of how when you're not intentionally anti-racist things will end up being racist you know what i'm saying like even though the person that wrote this bill wrote this didn't say don't give it to african americans the person writing it wasn't being racist but the way the implementation was not explicitly anti-racist because if you don't make the implementation explicitly anti-racist it's just going to fall into the same traps of racism as before exactly racism is a circle my fave icebreaker is if you were drafted, would you go? I wouldn't. They'd have to take my ass kicking and screaming. Um, the two generations before me all went to military schools and slash ROTC scholarships and I was forbidden. Interesting. States rights, laser IWT Sherman mode activated. How do you get out of the draft? Option one, yourself. That's option one. If they ever did a draft for women, I'd probably just get pregnant. I feel like you could get out of it for that. Oh, but then I'd have to give birth. Oh my god, I don't know which one's worse. It's like war or birth. It's really the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Fake mentally insane like my grandfather. Another option. Um, you could escape to another country. They wouldn't take me, actually. I have PTSD. They'd be like, we're good. <laughs> we're good. You can stay home. We're good. Fake a pregnancy like Terry Schuster. I was laughing at Terry Schuster memes the other night, and my boyfriend was like, babe, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, it's funny. And he was like, who is that? And I couldn't even explain it. Because how am I going to explain to him that I'm laughing at a Terry Schuster meme in 2022? He's never even seen Glee. So, like, I couldn't even explain that. Be in college during the draft and have good grades. Wait, if you had bad grades, they would send you to war? They were like, well, looks like you got a D in civics. Shouldn't have been partying so much. You're going to Vietnam. Terry Schuster becoming a school nurse on Glee is the funniest thing. <laughs> okay, so anyway. Um, doo -doo -doo. While white veterans got into college with relative ease, black service members face limited options and denial in pursuit of their educational advancement. This resulted in uneven outcomes of the GI Bill's impact. This was also true with housing, but I didn't really talk about it just because this stream is not about housing and I talked about it in a different stream. But basically, like the schools would deny them based on race and then housing would deny them based on race because of segregation. So like they had their GI Bill, they had the paper, but every time they would be like, hey, I want to use my benefits, they were like, mm, no. So it was kind of like useless to have the GI Bill. Um... I don't like the lightning. 
Uh, also, this is a very wordy meme, so it'll take you a couple seconds to read it, but I want you to read it because it's a really good meme, and I feel like I put a lot of thought into this, and this is exactly how this would go down. Like, this is exactly how they would say it. Leah can't read. Y'all talking about how Leah Michelle can't read? Poor Leah Michelle. Did I miss a lot? I just got in. And when you're disabled, hearing loss, you can't get drafted. <laughs> the one of the times I'm like, thank heavens I'm mentally ill. So commotion for the meme. You could write a whole novel and tell us it's a meme and we read the whole thing. Everything I'm doing is a meme. The whole bit is a meme. Because this is how they talk. Like, they're like, I don't have a racist bone in my body. If, I, if you love America and work hard, I love you. And then later, someone who loves America and worked hard was like, hey, I loved America and worked hard. And they're like, I'm kind of uncomfortable with the situation. I don't know why you would bring this up. Like, it's just such a 180 immediately, every time. Um, here's a meme that I made for my students. This is an old teacher meme. This is what I had printed all over the walls of my classroom. But also, she hasn't denied it. Why do racist people always add a random color? Or a rainbow and why is it always purple why is it always purple i love all my children equally i don't care for joke first time making it to history class what is up wolf wits how are you what's the george bush from quote from your classroom oh rarely is the question asked is our children learning i loved that poster I don't know how I never got in trouble for it. I made TikToks joking around about it because, like, my department head was like, what is wrong with you? He was like, you're going to get fired. You need to tone it down. And I was like, nah, it'll be fine. And then it was. I don't know how that worked out for me. I think because it was kind of small and, like, near my desk. They didn't really read it. They thought it was, like, something personal, I guess, which it was. It's very personal. Um, okay, so anyway, moving on. So how and why did discrimination with the GI Bill happen? One, fear of black advancement always. Like most racism, especially today, I think, goes to this fear of black advancement. Um, when lawmakers drafted it, like I said, Southern Democrats feared that returning black veterans would use public sympathy to um, advocate against Jim Crow law. When in reality, I think they were like, oh, we cannot let those motherfuckers get college education because then they will definitely run for office and dismantle this. Like, I think it was that kind of a vibe is how they were on. You know what I'm saying? Um, hating George W. Bush is something that can be so personal. It's very personal to me. Um, okay, but anyway. The, to make sure the GI Bill largely benefited white people, the Southern Democrats drew on tactics that they had previously used to ensure that the New Deal had helped as few African-American black people as possible. So this is not their first fucking rodeo. And during the drafting of the law, Mississippi congressmen played hardball and insisted that the program be administered by individual states instead of the federal government. Um, neighbors in the 1900s wishing they could go to college and learn about CRT. Oh, we're talking about about the nice white parents podcast i've heard it but everyone tells me to listen and i've heard parts of it but i haven't like sat down and listened to like a bunch of the episodes so i need to um okay where was i so couple reasons that the implementation of the gi bill was super racist one a disproportionate amount of black veterans got dishonorably discharged if you get dishonorably discharged you don't get the gi bill so a lot of them did a lot of these people didn't get their get their gi bill because of that and then a lot of the black veterans did not get their gi bill because of segregated schools so a segregated high school in indianapolis were unable to participate in reality the, sorry, black veterans in a vac vocational training program that was at a segregated high school could not engage in the classes for plumbing, electricity, or printing because the equipment was only available to white students. So even if you had your GI Bill, you really couldn't use it if you were not white. Um, and then simple intimidation kept others from doing it. It was the 1940s, 50s, and 60s, super racist time, like pretty much always in America. Um, but thousands of black veterans were attacked for trying to use their benefits. They tried to buy a home in a certain neighborhood if they tried to attend classes, things like that. Um, so from the jump, even though this was like publicly funded education, was not accessible. 
So, Southern politicians to black veterans when implementing the GI Bill. They really, really were careful to make sure that this would not benefit black veterans. Um, I looked up the numbers one time. You can look up, like, how many veterans were able to use this to buy a house. College, it's a fair number because there were HBCUs that would take the GI Bill. Um, but to buy a house, it's, like, less than 30 black veterans were able to buy their house when, like, thousands of them should have been able to. Um, anyway, so did black veterans ever get the GI Bill? Like we said, um, very few could take advantage of the federal assistance, but HBCUs welcomed black veterans and their federal dollars, which led to a growth of a black middle class following the immediate post-war years. So, um, that's so fucked up. I know, right? It's terrible. So, basically, some veterans did get to use it. But the underfunding of HBCUs really limited opportunities because they lacked the infrastructure to accommodate the influx of so many students. So they literally just didn't have the facilities, the buildings, the teachers, all that stuff to be able to accommodate everyone that wanted to go there. So like if you got in, you got in. And if you didn't, you really had nowhere else to go. Um, and also if the research has revealed that the lack of secondary education prior to service inhibited their paths to college and university. Because if you have the GI Bill to go to college, but you had to drop out in seventh grade and you've been working since then, like, you're not going to be ready for those college classes. You know what I'm saying? So, again, implementation, people. Good intentions are nothing without good implementation. And then desegregation started allowing previously non-black students to enroll black students and hire staff and things like that. So a while after the GI Bill, then those veterans started using these more often. Um, so do, 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 do. white Americans, when they see African Americans using the benefits white Americans have had access to for generations, because literally like when we see how many examples there are of free colleges in the US that were just for white people, no one had a fucking bone to pick with it. But then as soon as black veterans might get access to discounted college, now we're all fucking up in arms. You know what I'm saying? Um, I would recommend, well, there's a problem. If you can tolerate learning about engineering disasters and why it's capitalism's fault, that might stress me out too much. Truly fucked up story of desegregating in the Pacific PWI. Oh, I get it. Predominantly white institution. In the South, the Lords of Disciple and Pat Conroy. Oh, it's a book. I live next to an HBCU and the president of it is this goofy ass old white man in a bow tie. That's terrible. Why? Not a bow tie. Um, but look, working class people are starting to gain social mobility through education. It's happening. Ah, oh, white people thinking rights work like pie and theirs will go away if others get some. Here he comes. I told y'all, Reagan's in here. There he is. Oh my God, the emote, I'm dead. Ronald is defrosting. <laughs> he has arrived. This is so funny. Just joined, what are we talking about? That's funny. I took a screenshot of the chat because it's like Ronald Reagan just joined. What are we talking about? Ronald Reagan. Trigger warning Reagan. Ronald has entered the chat. Okay, so getting into Ronald Reagan. When did college start getting so crazy, crazy expensive? Because we've been looking back and it's always been expensive, but it has not been crazy like it is today. I wish my history classes were this funny back in the day. Thank you. Um... My dog is dreaming very intensely and it's scaring me. Should you wake her up? Okay, anyway, so between 1969 and 70 to then compared to 79 and 80, the college tuition and fees at the average public school went from 358 to 738. So they like more than doubled in a 10 year span. Um, and the cost of attendance saw tuition and fees the cost of attendance saw an 88 percent increase from 1200 to 2300 which this includes room and board and things like that during that same time private school tuition went from 1500 to 3000 and the cost of attendance grew 95 percent so it started to get very very expensive throughout the 70s and into the 80s so 
What happened? Why did it get so expensive? Is this about Ronald Reagan or college tuition? This is about, now we're talking, we talked all about like college, how much it cost, and now we're talking about how Reagan made it expensive. So in 1868, like we said, the University of California says that tuition shall be free to all residents of the state. And then in 1897, they established financial aid for needy and deserving students. I'm assuming this is for like room and board and stuff like that. So in 1921, although tuition is free, now California residents have to pay a $25 fee and non-residents have to pay $75 a year. It wasn't until Reagan fucked it up. Okay, let me focus. Sorry, I'm getting passionate. So... 1956, incidental fee, tuition for non-residents is $300 a year. Tuition is still free for California residents. Then in 1960, the California Master Plan supports keeping the UC system tuition-free for California residents, but maintains that fees should be charged to cover costs coming from laboratories, health, and athletics. <sighs> Sorry, I'm out of breath. The two governing boards, this is in 1960, the two governing boards reaffirmed the long-established principle that state colleges and the University of California shall be tuition-free to all residents of the state. Can I get a bathroom pass? Be fast. So 1960, free. It has been free for literally over like 100-ish years. Well, not over. 100-ish years, it's been free. Then in the 1960s, Reagan pops up. Reagan's like, what's up, motherfuckers? He starts campaigning. So when he is on his governor campaign, not president, governor, because remember, the Department of Education reports to the office of the governor. Ronald Reagan's running for governor of California. He starts talking about these campus protesting, and he's talking about these Berkeley students, and they're like, they're against the war. They don't pay any taxes. Taxes, your tax dollars are going to pay for them protesting our troops. Do you want to spend your taxes on these hippies just protesting all day, taking basket weaving classes? Like that was his energy with comments like they're spoiled and don't deserve the education they're getting and the state should not subsidize intellectual curiosity. And then he won the race for governor. So in a core theme of his campaign, he repeatedly vowed to clean up the mess in Berkeley. Then when he became the governor of California in 1967, he started gutting public education and then tuition, is being raised 1968 that registration free goes up tuition's still free but that non-resident one goes up hmm sorry reagan meme um the three genders male female and spoiled and didn't deserve the education that they're getting no literally so reagan starts gutting public education very, very dramatically so in 1970, he's running for re-election and he shut down all of the campuses because of student protest. Um, and then, do, 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 where was I? Yeah, so he basically cut public education and suggested that they start charging tuition for the first time. So this is kind of when the like energy against public education really started popping off. Reagan was like the catalyst because he was kind of the first one talking about these things. So his her his education advisor, his name was Roger A. Freeman, said some pretty fucked up shit. He said, we are in danger of producing an educated proletariat. That's dynamite. We have to be selective on who we allow to go to college. Were students threatening a civil war? Crazy, I've never heard of this. No, literally, they were like, they're protesting the Vietnam War, shut down the campus. <clears throat> um, my stepdad always makes jokes about majors like underwater basket weaving to insult people with majors he perceives as useless. The underwater basket weaving is a common joke. My high school history teacher would always say that. Um, so yeah, basically, they didn't want people to have access to public education and then in 1970 in a symbolic move away from the tuition free students had to pay an educational fee of hundred and fifty dollars per year and then this sorry then eventually they started charging actual tuition fees a couple years later so you can see how even though um oh my god wait the chat how was Reagan able to do so much horrible stuff like every bad thing seems to go back to him most presidents can't hardly get anything passed how is he so successful at being horrible great question 
Most presidents that can't get anything passed, it's weaponized incompetence. They can get something passed. They're just not trying hard enough. And Ronald Reagan, even though I disagree with him on literally everything, you can give him that he was passionate about his job. He was getting shit done. So basically, because he tried hard is why he was able to get so much shit done. And the more convoluted answer, he is a very, was like, he was like the, what's the word? Like the, the speaker. He was called the great communicator. He was very, very good at spreading a message. He was good at speaking. He was good at engaging. So people liked him and people flocked to him because of that. Eloquent. Yes, thank you. Okay, so yeah, just to go back to this little timeline here, basically tuition is free. Ronald Reagan says it shouldn't be free. He gets elected governor. Then they get this $300 registration fee. Then I should have put that meme after this. I'm fucking up, you guys. I am fucking up. Y'all gotta have higher standards for me than this. There are no useless majors. You can make it work without a degree. I hate the basket weaving joke. Also, it's tech bros saying it. He went over the entire country in 1984, except for Minnesota. Minnesota was right about him. We should have listened. But anyway, um, then in 1970, that was where he really started going in on public education. And then by 1975, they started charging tuition. So that's the meme. My dad has a comp science degree. That's hilarious. STEM dudes are always like, yep, I made the right decision. I love working so much. I love this field. I make good money. You know what I'm saying? Like, it feels like they're trying to convince themselves more than anyone else. Um, do, do, do. Moving on. So me realizing that yet another aspect of American suffering can be traced back to Reagan's hard on for the Vietnam War. That's fucking crazy to me. How many fucked up things in our country you look back and it's because people cared about the Vietnam War? He sounds like my boss at my old job who said I was rad radicalized in college if they love reagan if reagan loved the more so much why wasn't he there <laughs> literally it's like go fight if you care so much all of us right now that's the meme i need to get it zoomed in closer of my face i think whenever i see them on here betty with the t um but yeah reagan was obsessed with the vietnam war he was obsessed with fighting communism and destroyed so much in that fight um so the chat is popping off tonight also this class is a substance also this class is a, a substance use disorder class and the first thing my prof said is how much she hates reagan mood um sometimes the business may as a business major my brain melts like we had to argue for or against the 40 hour work week and so many were in favor of it versus the 35 hour work week it really sent me they didn't even look up sources but they're drinking that kool-aid they're deep into the call you know what i'm saying um oh wait Working class people are starting to gain social mobility through education. We can't have that. We cannot have that. He got two college educations. Now he's just trying too hard. It's just like too aggressive. Right wingers when they see a diverse group of people learning together. What gets me is their comment that was like, we have to be very selective about who we allow to go to college. And also the guy that said that like, came up in Austria, like, when the Nazis were on the rise. And then he moved to the U.S. So I'm not saying he's a Nazi, but, like, I think it is worth looking into. Because that comment is giving Nazi, and, like, you're from an area where Nazism was on the rise, and you were there that whole time. So, it just kind of makes you wonder, you know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, the biggest villain of right-wing people doing terrible things is a group of diverse people learning together. That's like the antithesis, you know what I'm saying? Um, and cutting public education became the new trend. So that TikTok I made that was like, Reagan did this, we're gonna get to that law in a second, but basically they started cutting public education fucking everywhere. Because of Reagan's attacks on California, this inspired conservative politicians as Nixon cried a campus revolt. So it's like the Reagan-Nixon era, like Reagan governor Nixon, fucking president, whatever. Um, his vice president proclaimed that thanks to open admission policies, unqualified students are being swept into college on a wave of the new socialism so very much fucked up 
Why did Reagan love the Vietnam War so much? I don't know. I think he just needed something to be passionate about. So prominent conservative intellectuals took up the charge. Privately, one worried that free education may be producing a positively dangerous class situation by raising the expectations of working class students. So because they saw working class people getting access to college and working class people not being debilitated by debt from college like that's where they started to freak out a little bit so do 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 in retrospect this period was a clear turning point in america's policies towards higher education for decades there had been enthusiastic bipartisan agreement that states should fund high quality public colleges so that their youth could receive higher education for free or nearly so. Student debt, which had played a minor role in American life throughout the 1960s, increased during the Reagan administration and then shot up in 2007-2009. Great recession as states made huge cuts to funding for their college systems. Oh, so they were literally scared of a class war. Yeah, pretty much because they saw like all these people that were like diverse in race, diverse in income, diverse in gender, learning together, learning about these things. And they were like, oh, these people are going to fucking revolt. They're like, they're figuring it out. They're, they're sneaking up on us. We gotta, we gotta shut this shit down is basically their idea here. So now that we have an understanding of college costs, let's discuss loans. Basically that law that that TikTok was about, it was the higher education act, which was to provide financial aid. This is what established the student loan program. Once student loans came out, college got a lot fucking more expensive because supply and demand, not to be a Republican, but the more people want stuff, the higher you can charge for it. Now more people had access to money to be able to go to college, so more people are gonna wanna go. So you can charge more because they have access to funding now. They have access to federal dollars, so you can charge more. These are 18 year olds, they don't know what the fuck they're doing. You can charge whatever you want, they won't know. So even though Reagan was not in office when this passed, we see how this is part of him. You see what I'm saying? This is when his whole shit in California was going on. This is when public education started getting gutted because of Reagan's ideas. So that is how, um, remember, this is when college got expensive as fuck in California under Reagan. Exactly. So then 1972, they create Pell Grants and they start creating all of these other loan programs. So basically, that's how it went down. And that's why it got expensive as fuck. Um, because one, 17 and a half year olds don't know anything about finance. They don't know what they're doing and they're just going to sign that shit if you're telling them to sign that shit. Um, and the student loans started to just build, uh, I was going to get into this, but it's like kind of boring. The, um, higher education act creates the FAFSA and direct lending program and unsubsidized staffer loans, which means now students have to cover interest rather than the federal government trickle down golden trickle down economics but it's trump's golden shower they really, really shut down because people believe in trickle down economics and stand up for billionaires i need to chill i keep getting auto flagged it's okay it doesn't ding you it just gives me a warning and i do it so like in case someone puts something bad and i don't notice it it'll just ding it out usually and then all the stuff that's not bad i can just approve you know what i'm saying like i'd rather be like hiding too much than not hiding enough um God, my throat is so dry. It's like I've been talking for two hours. More than that, because I talked a lot of work today, too. Thanks, hydrate. I need my straw. God, I need to replace the filter in my air thing. I'm going to do that after I get off stream. Ooh, you made chili? Um, but anyway, the student loan programs basically just start popping off. I don't have my straw. Okay, so as loan beco loans become available, costs begin to increase. So you can see here's the cost in 1978, goes up very dramatically. And this is only as of like 2015 or something like that. So CPI, that's like the general inflation. And then you can see tuition and fees went up super, super dramatically. Um, so colleges start raising the cost of tuition now that they realize 18 year olds can take out massive sums of money. Again, that TikTok that I stitched that like inspired me to do this stream, the law that created the availability of student loans doesn't have any language about race in it. 
doesn't have any like long term, you know what I'm saying? But we see the history behind it and why it did what it did. We see that it goes back to them trying to gatekeep college, which made it more expensive. Now they make student loans. Now they're starting to oppress the working class in a different way. Like you see how all of this is interconnected. I'm hoping that that's the picture that I'm painting and that that's what you're seeing. Is. Um, the student loan system being created with no forethought. It's literally so fucking predatory. It is. They played us like a fiddle. They knew what they were doing. They played our asses. They sure did. They sure played us. I've seen people calling Pell Grant recipients lucky like Girly Pop. Do you know how they get that grant? So I hope everyone's okay with me telling this story, but I think they will be. So my sister had a Pell Grant for part of college because my parents were having financial issues. And my mom has like always been like a raging liberal. And so she's always been super um, in favor of like Pell Grants and publicly funded education. And all of her old little Republican friends, this was like pre-Trump and stuff, um, would be like, why, why are you in favor of that? The high taxes. And she was like, I want my taxes to go to education. I'll pay a ton in taxes. I don't fucking care. And then they went through financial problems. And then my sister got the Pell Grant. And my mom was like, see, that's why you're in favor of that shit. Because you might fuck around and need it. <laughs> that's how my state tried to pass a homophobic law. They didn't specify age and almost made child marriage fully legal. Of course they did. Of course they did. Also, I feel like this meme is very fitting. My school had a whole ass credit union. My uni sent an email this morning to announce an upcoming vote on whether to add new fees, and it's one of the most insulting things my school has done. Are you in, what school did that? What country? What is this country? Yeah, in the US, they just send us the fee. They just send you an email and they're like, you owe us $200, just so you know. It's actually past due. So it's 200 plus a $40 late fee. A public school in Texas. But they get, you get to vote on the fees? That's cool. But, oh, I'm interested by this. Okay, anyway. Recent updates to student loans. Credit market problems stemming from the Great Recession forces many private lenders back out as they no longer have the financial ability to provide loans. An outstanding student loan debt is at $639 billion. Um, and then in 2012, the amount of student loan debt passes $1 trillion, And in 2021, it was sitting at $1.7 trillion um, to get us up to modern day. March 2020, they pushed the federal government to put the loans on a forbearance, which means no payment and interest is not accruing during this time. Um, average Americans, how bad does the student debt crisis have to get before you wipe that shit out? The federal government limit does not exist. Why pay student debt when we can pay? <laughs> that might be the chat of the night. Why pay student debt when we can pay Raytheon? Is that how you say that? OUT Dallas, XOXO, Ronald Reagan. Texas Tech, I know they have a credit union. Interesting. Okay, so... Basically, we have a terrible student loan crisis, and then in 2022, the Biden administration announced student, student relief in the form of up to $20,000 for Pell Grant recipients and $10,000 for non-Pell Grant recipients. To be eligible, individuals must have an income less than $125K or $250 for married couples, and the administration also announced that the pause would be extended through the remainder of the year. In addition, a new income-driven repayment plan proposed would cap the monthly payments on undergrads to 5% of the borrower's discretionary income, which is half of what they currently pay. So they did not solve the crisis, they just kind of helped it. Like, I feel like this is the equivalent of like, let's say the student loan crisis is having a baby. You're in fucking labor, suffering, crisis, terrible. Joe Biden's student loan plan is like when a nurse or your partner or somebody like dabs your forehead or gives you a little bit of ice. Like, I love it. Keep that shit up. But by no means is that fixing what we're going through at this current moment in time. You know what I'm saying? Like, very helpful. Very helpful. I love it. I love it. I love that you did that. But did it fix it? No, it didn't. And I think you know that it didn't fix it. I think deep down you do know that. Um, but yeah, here's Joe Biden. I love this picture. I think this picture is hilarious. 
me outside the White House trying to get Joe to add another zero to that $20,000 forgiveness. The wet paper towel as a kindergarten teacher would say, I feel like if you put a wet paper towel on your arm that's broken, this whole topic is so stressful. Sorry, I didn't mean to pick a stressful topic. It's giving the school nurse giving me nail clippers to try and get the pencil to let out from under me. <laughs> oh, sneaks into the White House. Alexa plays you about at full volume until Biden wipes all student debt. No, literally. And again, what does it go back to? Were you a dog the bounty hunter fan? No, I just found this gif and thought she had good energy. Um, can you please do a history class on Beth? I don't know, Beth. I don't know, Beth. We have a game, though. I think this is it. So, I made a game. Let me put the Nearpod in the chat. Let me pick a good one. We'll do the underwater one because we're all drowning in debt. Well, not me. Rest easy, y'all. Um, but we're going to do the underwater one to symbolize the debt that has been drowning many Americans. So, this is a little game. I put the link in the chat if you want to join it. Um, or I'll put the directions to join up here if you go to this website and then you enter that code you don't have to make an account or anything but then you can like play with us if you're on your phone and this is on your tv or you can just watch us play the game it's 10 multiple choice questions just about what we talked about on here damn you got us there <laughs> y'all rest easy with your student debt i'm glad to see a lot of people benefited from um joseph biden's plan though that's good warms my heart Warms my heart that he is helping y'all out like that. Sometimes when I'm, like, drinking, I talk a lot more Southern than when I'm not. Or if I'm mad. Like, if I'm frustrated, it's going to be like, is that Paula Deen? Minus the racial slurs, obviously. The underwater joke was cruel but extremely funny. Thank you. That's what I go for. Um, but yeah. I'll, I'll start pot again if anyone else wants to join the game. Now that you made the connection that students were just another way to oppress the working class. I'm even more radicalized. As someone who thinks money shouldn't exist, I'm really upset. I'm doing my finance class. So, I know I talk about my boyfriend all the time. Sorry, I'm obsessed. But one of the things I love the most about him is that he works in finance, but he agrees that, like, money is made up and doesn't exist. Like, he's like, yeah, the stock market's not real. It's absolutely fake. And, like, it's his whole job. And so, like, if he has, he has a master's degree, if he knows all that and he can agree with me there, that's how I know I'm right and that's how I know everyone else is lying to themselves. Please Google finance punk. Oh God, I don't think I wanna Google that. Um, oh my God, there's 26 people on the game. I'll give you another couple seconds if anybody wants to join, but other than that, I'm gonna get it started up in this bitch. Oh, there's 27 now. Look at all your little people or your little animals with their little hats on. What are they called? Their little underwater helmets. This is literally so cute, I'm gonna cry. Look at all, look at the giraffe and its little helmets. You guys, I got rejected from another job at Nearpod. I applied for a job at Nearpod. That's literally my job, but for Nearpod, instead of for the place I work now. And they rejected me, again. It doesn't even pay more. Like, at this point, it feels really personal. I can't be that mad, because they did pay for my, like, I have Nearpod for free now. They gave it to me for free. Um, but yeah. Okay, so there's 32 of you in the game. I'm going to hit start. I don't want to say my job title, because it's like, it has the name of my work in it. So, like, the company. That's why I don't say it. But the, the my title, like, the closest thing is I'm a customer success manager. Like I make sure our customers are like using the website and that they like it and that they're not mad about how much they have to pay for it and that they have what they need. And that they keep using it and keep being a customer is basically my job. But I don't get commission. I'm supposed to treat them all equally and I get paid by the hour. The righties are busy in instigating lefties in fighting, so we probably have some work to do before we can unite. Yeah, for real. Okay, I'm going to hit start. But we can keep chatting while they're playing the game. What did we learn about today? Look at this squishy that I have. Can you hear it? That was probably sounded really gross. If you're like in public right now, I'm really sorry. 
I'm starting a new job tomorrow that pays me more. Congratulations, Serenity Quartz. That's the sound of stirring mac and cheese. You know what I'm about to say. You know. That's what good pussy sounds like. I hope I don't get like a, a ding for that. This is not for children, sorry. I had a job interview today, low-key scrambling because I couldn't finish my two weeks and rent is due, you know? That sucks. Oh my god, my phone just connected internet to interracial. That's like a really big difference of statements. Like, I don't feel like you should have inter like done it that way. Trick question. Oh yeah, I forgot to pay attention to the questions. The oldest institution of higher education. That one's not a trick. We were talking about the discrepancy was on public. How much was Harvard tuition in 1840? That's what we're doing here. That's our whole energy. Sorry, I got distracted in my TikTok comments earlier. I posted like a sad girl video earlier because I'm just like kind of in feelings. Um, and people are being nice, which is good. I thought people were going to be mean. I don't know why I thought that. Oh my God, Lemur Banana, you're in first place. The founding fathers were all against tuition-free higher education. Is that true or false? False. Gas station roller, that's funny. I've got an Excel spreadsheet of all my job rejections. That's perfect. We all have one. Why did more people start going to college in the 1940s? I start my, my master's this month. I should be better at this quiz. No, you shouldn't. It's fine. I got rejected from Walmart last year. That sucks. I'm sorry. What kind of job for Walmart, though? The GI Bill explicitly stated that these benefits would not be given to black veterans. Is that true or false? And then you have two false. Oh, I cannot stop burping. It was working in the clothing department. It's a cutthroat department. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> that sucks though, I'm sorry. Oh, I just hit my tooth with my nail. I need my nails done. They've grown out. Do you see that? You see that growth? It's not cute. Look how cute my nail sticker is though. The butterflies, it's like literally such a vibe. How do I make it like focus on that? Not on me, on the nails. Stupid little fucker. Um, I applied for a job that said 18 and I got there and it was actually eight and I might make tips and that's basically 18. That feels like catfishing. Don't love that. I'm excited for the Halloween nail stickers. Do you think students will get any more COVID relief? Probably not. Knowing our government, I would go with no. <laughs> Who started to push the end of a publicly funded tuition in California? People at the grocery store I worked at got mad when I got paid eight fifty an hour because they thought it was too much. Jesus Christ. What's wrong with people? Do, 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 
Why do conservatives want to gut funding for, pub for public colleges? I love the Nearpod songs. This one has a lot of right answers. Look at us all hopping in unison. <laughs> yeah, so all of those were right except for inflation. It was everything except inflation. Um, let's see who won. We have Lemur Banana in first place, Madeline in second, Elizabeth, Cal, Poke, Pokey Kate, D. Jim Turner, Ginger, E. Man 10, Catherine, Mary Hen, Spencer, Lisa, uh huh, Gas Station Roller, and Lissatron, Pino Colado. And then I'll scroll through everybody else. Nice job, nice job. My eye is so itchy. What's happening to my body right now? I'm like very not feeling 100%. <laughs> um, but. Thank you all for coming. That was great. I loved this stream about our lovely college, even though it was kind of depressing. Um, I queened that, Madeline. I didn't do so hot on that one. It's okay. I got two questions wrong. It's all right. We've all been there. But I wanted to give you a chance to put your memes, your notes, anything like that. Love my classmates. Y'all are a very respectful class to each other, I must say. That's the easiest part is that no one argues here. But thank you all so much for coming. I will hang out for a few more minutes. But have a great night. I love you so much. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Um, have a good day at work tomorrow. I hope you guys all get a work from home job. <laughs> Me too. But thank you for coming. No, do not start arguing. Please do not start arguing. That was not a request for you to start arguing. When the government is asked to forgive student loans. Drinking Josh voice Reagan. <laughs> Wait, that might need to go on the thing. Yeah, I like that. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. Happy freaking birthday. So sorry for the injuries you acquired, but can you please do a PowerPoint presentation and create a YouTube video with videos explaining the falls, angles, potential income and pain, etc. You know that works too. Oh my god. Oh my god. I had a workplace injury and was able to retire at 32, I thank god every day for tripping and flying down the stairs. Oh my god. Ronald Reagan in hell waiting for heaven to trickle down on him. Reagan's grave was the first gender neutral bathroom. Here are some Alaska topics. Ooh, thank you. Forced evacuation, Alaska Equal Rights, which was the first anti discrimination law. Wait. I'm going to put this in a note on my computer so I can come back to it later. Okay. Thank you. This was great, though. My tummy hurts and I'm mad at the government. My sister sent me this tweet today. She's going to be so excited. She loves when she's like on top of the internet. Or not tweet. What is this? Oh, no, it is a tweet. But Wyoming is the equality. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Was pausing, tweezing my eyebrows just for the Nearpod experience worth it? I love Nearpod, right? Even though they don't want to hire me, I still love them. But thank you all so much for coming. This was a great stream. Have a good night. Make good decisions. Um, I will see you on Wednesday. I haven't decided what we're doing yet. If you have any ideas, let me know. But love you so much. Good night.